Hi, my name is Chris, or CJE1985 on the Mousedroid Builder form. And what I'm going to show you today is how to upload the shadow code and pair your PS3 Move controller to your Arduino system. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up the shadow Arduino sketch. We do that by double-clicking on shadow.ino. That will automatically open up the Arduino IDE. And that will be where we do our work for today. Okay, now since the sketch is open, now what we can do is we can go ahead and upload the sketch. We, we have to set up uh, the board that we're using and the port number in which we're talking to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a USB cable that plugs into the USB B port on the Arduino, and we're going to plug that into my computer. The lights on the Arduino will turn on, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Tools menu. We're going to make sure we have the right board connected. Today I'm using our uh, Arduino Uno. Uh, so I've got Uno selected here. If you happen to be using a Mega ADK, you would select that board here. So we're going to select the Uno. We're going to select the port. In this case, I uh, on my Mac, it's going to be the CU.USB modem 1411. And you can see that I already figured out that's an Arduino Uno. Uh, we're just going to click that to make sure everything's all good. Then we click on Sketch, and we click on Upload. This will compile the sketch and we'll actually upload to the Arduino device for us. I'll go ahead and close out that warning. And so you'll see some lights come on on your Arduino. Those are all normal. And then you'll see done uploading in the lower left-hand corner. So we're not done yet. We need to power our PS3 move controller. So we need to use the serial console to do that. To open the serial console, we go to Tools and serial monitor. It's really important that, the, that this says 115-200 baud. If it says anything else, you'll get jumbled mess across the screen. Just keep changing the baud rate and like this will be what the jumbled mess looks like. Um, it's totally unintelligible. As soon as we make this back to 115-200, it automatically resets the Arduino and now we can see the text that we expect. So it's really important that you make sure that you have your Bluetooth dongle plugged into your US the USB shield if you're using an UNO or plugged into the USB port if you're using an 80, Mega ADK. What you should see is that you should see the screen that you have in front of you that says it's waiting for an incoming, incoming connection request. Um, this is where we can start actually pairing the PS3 Bluetooth controller. So what we'll do is we'll unplug the Bluetooth dongle and then we'll plug in our PS3 Move controller. And so you don't have to touch anything on the PS3 Move controller. The red light should automatically start blinking. And you should see the navigation controller connected message. Then what we do is we unplug the PS3 Move controller. We plug back in the Bluetooth dongle. Then I like to press the PS button in order to be able to turn the controller on. So we press the PS button, it turns the controller on. And we see a whole bunch of information being presented to us. What's the most important part is this connected to device. This is the MAC address that we need to actually put into the code. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into the code. And you can see there's a PS3 move primary navigation MAC. So we're going to paste that in. We're going to save the sketch, and then we're going to upload it again. By going to Tools and Serial Monitor. And so you can see it says, it says waiting for incoming connection request. We press the PS button on the PS3 Move controller, and it should say Navigation Controller Enabled. And so now, if this was connected to my mouse droid, I can now start to control it or trigger sounds, um, whatever the case may be in which you have programmed in. So that's how you bind your PS3 Move controller to your Arduino.